the government has ordered in more heavy machinery to help resolve this crisis. These huge water pumps arrived in Staines and Chertsey overnight, a response to growing concerns that the situation here could get worse. Right to the end. Oh, back up actually, Scott, if you can. These fire crews have been drafted in from Shropshire and they worked throughout the night to save more homes from flooding. It is very bad, yes. Uh, a lot of it really is the amount of time and effort that goes into obviously setting this equipment up and hoping that uh, by positioning it correctly it achieves what we want to achieve, really. Earlier, the Prime Minister on a visit here had warned that the end may not be in sight just yet. The bad news for him that two polls today suggest he's not handled this crisis very well. This is a vast national effort where we're bringing all the resources of our country to together and what we do in the next 24 hours is vital because tragically the river levels will rise again and so every sandbag delivered, every house helped, every flood barrier put in place can make a big difference. There are a lot of flooded streets and stains still in darkness. Nationally, around 30,000 homes are without power. These high-volume pumps can remove a staggering 7,000 litres of water every minute. In this particular case, these pipes and hoses running down the street go on for a mile and a half. This kind of heavy-duty equipment is an example of just how much water is still to be removed from the streets here. Water levels have dropped slightly. All residents can do now is hope that continues. It's gone down dramatically just over, well, since yesterday morning. So, yeah, we're really pleased right now. But You felt no one was doing anything, but I don't know. It, 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 if it is these guys, well, fair play to them. I mean, well, they've saved us, but uh, we're still not out of the woods. In the early hours, they opened the valves. A small success, but pressure is building on the government to resolve this crisis. Nick Martin, Sky News, Surrey.